This section explains how to add sheets. Last time we placed the performer in the starting position. This position information is recorded on sheet number 0. Now let's add the sheet number 1. With sheet number 0 selected, click this button. Then another sheet is added like this. I explained this a little bit in the lesson on creating counts. If the sound source has a long blank space before the song starts, the interval between counts number 0 and number 1 will be wider, because that may cause the model to not work properly. I've hit the count like this before the first beat. Sheet number 0 count number 0 is a specification that cannot be moved. I'm going to make this sheet number 1 the first sheet because I want to avoid printing sheet number 0. I'll select sheet number 0 and press this button. Then this sheet will not be printed, so it will be printed from sheet number 1. Now let's add the sheet number 2. With the sheet number 1 selected, click this button. And now sheet number 2 is added. You can move a sheet by clicking once and dragging. You have to click once before you can move it to avoid accidentally moving it when selecting it. Let's move sheet number 2 to beat 12. Make sure sheet number 2 is selected in pink and then move the performer. Thus, if the sheet is not in position on the timeline, it will be light blue. You cannot select or move a performer in this state. Please click on the sheet and make sure it is pink before editing. Now let's move the whole thing forward. Let's select non-prop and move it forward. Now let's play it back. We now have a formation that moves forward 12 counts like this. The first measure is a percussion-only intro. I would like to move forward from the second measure. I would add a sheet to measure number 2. Move the timeline before the count at the beginning of measure number 2. I can move the timeline by dragging it, though. You can also move it by double-clicking on the dark green area between the counts. This button adds a sheet. Then a sheet is created in the middle of the process, like this. You can see that the sheet numbers have also been reassigned. I would like to rethink the formation of sheet number 1 with sheet number 2 as the formation of sheet number 1. First we will work on making sheet number 2 the same formation as sheet number 1. Because there is a useful tool to restore the state of one sheet before the other, you can use the shortcut, Ctrl plus A, to select all performers and then click this button. And now we have the formation on sheet number 1. I often use this operation to rethink the design, etc. Control plus R is a shortcut for this. Let's play it back.
I'm now walking out at the right time for the music. Let's try to change the formation of the first seat. There are many ways to do this, so this is just one reference. Please watch the upcoming operation, including the mouse movements. I made this change. I changed sheet number 1, but sheet number 0 is still the same as before. This is the sheet that does not print, but the model does not work well as it is. Sheet number 0 should be in the same formation as sheet number 1. There is a button to revert to the previous sheet, though, as I explained earlier, there is no button that takes you to the next sheet. But in the Drill Studio, you can copy and paste the selected performer's position. With sheet number 1 selected, click on the menu item edit and then copy. And then select sheet number 0. From the menu, click on edit and then paste. Now we have the same formation as sheet number 1. Copy, Ctrl plus C. Paste, Ctrl plus V. You can also use the shortcut. Let's play it back. It's starting to look more like a marching show with more movement. Now I would like to add the next sheet. I'm going to select sheet number 3 and add a sheet. Click and drag to move the sheet after 8 counts. Another way to do this is to move the timeline to the 8th count and then insert the sheet. Change the position of the performer. changed like this. 
Now let's play it back. As you can see, we are only a few pages in, but the drill design is now complete. That's it for this lesson. Thank you for watching.